The single most impactful change I've implemented into my own life in the last 12 months is that I've stopped being so goal oriented. I don't really care about goals anymore. I've realized that instead of living my life striving towards goals, living my life building systems to achieve those goals is far more effective. So first, let me explain the difference between systems and goals because this is important. A goal is something you want to achieve in the future. A system is a process that will lead you to achieve your goal. So goals are more about the destination, where systems are more about the journey. And this is important because I've been expanding my team recently and hiring quite a few more employees. And whether or not an employee is goal oriented or system oriented is one of the best indicators that shows me as the CEO, if an employee is a high performance employee or not. So let me give you an example of someone that is goal oriented versus someone that is system oriented. So your bathroom is a mess. If your life is based around goals, then your goal is to tidy your bathroom. It will only take a few minutes and the result is a tidy bathroom and that's great. However, this result of a tidy bathroom is only temporary. After a few days, your bathroom will be messy again and you'll have to tidy it again. And this is a continuous cycle of having a messy bathroom and then having to tidy it. The output of a messy bathroom stays the same because the input didn't change. Now let's take the same example if your life is based around systems using a very simple input, habit and output system. So this time your input is use the bathroom. Your habit is put everything back in the right place every time you use it. And the output is the bathroom is always tidy, so you don't have to tidy it every few days. You fix the habit, in this case of putting things back where they belong every time you use them, therefore the output, in this case having a tidy bathroom, takes care of itself. So using systems in your life is all about automation. So you don't have to think, you're more productive and your life is more streamlined because you have these very simple input, habit and output systems in place. Another example is when I'm on my commute to work. The input is riding my bike and turning left or right. The habit is turning on my indicator and doing a mirror check and a shoulder check to check for any vehicles overtaking me that could crash into me when I turn. The output is that I'm far less likely to be involved in a road accident. So that one very basic system could literally one day save my life. And I have these systems implemented throughout my daily life. And it's these systems that helped massively in going from failing my exams in high school to graduating in the top 5% of my university because I streamlined my studying. I built systems around my studying. So studying 10 hours a day was genuinely relatively easy. I talk more about these systems in the Transform Your Grades course. It's a 30 day course that is designed to help you increase your grades by two grade points. So if you're studying at a D grade, it's designed to help you achieve B grades by the end of the year. And we're also currently running a massive January sale because I know a lot of you want to start fresh with actually taking your studying more seriously in 2023. I'll drop a link in the description below. Another example of a system that I implement every single day is when I arrive home from work. The input is I arrive home. The habit is I park my bike in the same parking space and the output is that I don't have to remember where I parked my bike. Although I'm parking about 20 seconds further away from my apartment entrance, every time I leave my apartment to go to work in the morning, I don't have to think, where did I park my bike? Is it parked this way? Is it that way? Again, it's all about automation and removing all the tiny decisions that you have to make throughout the day. So when I enter my apartment, the input is I arrive home. The habit is I put my keys and wallet, watch, ring and AirPods all in the same place. The output is not having to scramble to find my keys when I leave the house because I know exactly where I put them. All these small systems in my life make me significantly more productive. I also don't suffer as much with decision fatigue. Decision fatigue refers to the deteriorating quality of decisions made by an individual after a long session of decision making. If you imagine your day is full of making these tiny decisions that you have to make because your daily life lacks the systems and lacks automation, 
then throughout the day, eventually decision fatigue is going to set in. People like Barack Obama, Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg have all mentioned that they reduce their everyday clothing down to one or two outfits in order to limit the number of decisions they make in a day. It's the biggest mindset shift I've made in the last year for sure. I remember just recently I watched my subscriber count roll from 999,999 to 1 million. And I'd been relentlessly striving for this for years and it finally happened. And I suddenly felt this overriding sense of genuinely not caring. I always thought reaching such a big milestone would be this euphoric moment where confetti would be thrown from the sky, trumpet players would serenade me with celebratory songs, and my team would carry me on their shoulders into the sunset. The reality was that I was alone in my office writing an email, I had a tab open with my subscriber count, I watched it hit 1 million, I immediately closed the tab and continued writing my email. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my work, but 1 million subscribers is just an arbitrary number. As cliche as this is, it's about the journey, not the destination. It's about the systems you implement and living in the present, not necessarily the goals that you're striving for, because once you hit those goals, it's like, cool, now what? Another major component to essentially systemizing and automating your life so you don't have to make hundreds of tiny decisions throughout the day is the productivity system that you use. Calendars, to-do lists, productivity apps like Notion. What is your system? I actually made a video recently on my own minimalist productivity system. You can check it out by clicking on the card on the screen. Alternatively, I made another video called How to Design Your Life I really enjoyed making that. I go through how I'm planning and leveling up my own life in 2023. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. And if you want to level up your studying and your grades, check out the Transform Your Grades course. We're currently offering a massive discount for January. Link in the description below.